Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle. Welcome back to Super Mario 64. I believe last time we 100%ed a few worlds, and now we're going to continue on in Shifting Sandland with free flying for eight red coins. We can't get the hundred coin star at the same time as this one, but we can get the, the eight red coins and then go into the pyramid to get hundred coins. So, but I guess I'll just focus on red coins first. So yeah, we're going to have to do a whole bunch of things to get all that done. I, I, I'm already thinking in 100 coins mode and I'm not even trying to get 100 coins, which is not going to be good. Because it means I'm going to get unnecessary coins. I'm walking past everything and it's ruining my brain right now. Anyway, let's just go through this block maze, I guess. It's got a long jump across there. Try to get that. Um, where am I missing one? I think it's over on the other side. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good. Okay, it's fine. Just go past. Good. Good. Great. Jumping over things does make this a lot easier than actually. Oh, yeah, that's the last red coin over there. Other than the red coins in the air. You know, it's not the last one, but it's the last... Oh, bird vulture. Oh, he got my hat. He got my hat. Now I take extra damage. Until I get it back. So let's go get it back, because I need it. I need it so I don't die. Oh, that was a good opportunity to get it back. Oh, and I ruined it. Oh, well, he's still here at least, so let's just... Probably ground pound in the air. Oh, there he goes. Now just collect it like a regular cap, and then don't fall into the, the death. Okay, so I think for this next bit, for the... The... the uh, what am I saying? For the red coins in the air, we need to have the wing cap, and luckily, right next to the ca cannon is also a wing cap, so let's jump into this hole here, which looks like you should die. And let's just fire into the air, randomly. And now we just need to go pick up the eight red coins, miss, oh my goodness. If you can manage to level out with them, you can usually just triple jump from the tower to tower to get them. Oh my goodness, this is going so fast. It's so hard to control sometimes when it's going fast. Anyone let's grab that one. Okay, my cap's gonna run out at some point as well, so I need to be careful about that. Seven, and then... That one might be too high for me to actually reach right now. Oh no. Ah, that's fine. Let me just go down here and take out that... What's it called? Pokey. I'm gonna have to get, get a new wing cap, I think. Unless this takes me up into that red coin. No, it can't take me high enough, I don't think. Oh, and it's just gonna drop me very quickly. Spinning doesn't hold you up for very long. Anyway, we did most of what we needed to do in that amount of time we had. Also, for some reason, it feels like the wing cap lasts longer when you use a cannon, which is strange because it lasts about the same amount of time. Okay, that was very risky just then. Triple jumping to a fly just over the pit. Oh, don't do that, please. Get up, Mario. I guess it does take a little bit less time. Like, I guess you do have less time when you have to triple jump to f start flying instead of just shooting out of a cannon. And I guess while you're inside the cannon, you might get extra time since it might, it might pause when you're in the cannon as it's animating the movements, but I don't know. I cannot confirm. Anyway, let's grab the star. So now we need to do all that again, and get every other coin we possibly can as well, at the same time. It's a good thing that the pokies give you blue coins when you kill them. Pyramid puzzle, also. Oh, pyramid puzzle. Pyramid puzzle we can actually do at the same time as this one, so this is actually probably the more recommended star to get at the same time. So, let's go get 100 coins. Oh, don't slide off that hill there. This slope right next to this red coin is very good at pushing off into the death quicksand on the edge of the world. So you have to be careful about that. Anyway, let's grab this box and we have quite a few coins to get over here. So let's start on all those. Holding the direction to make it not move as much. That box, that is. Oh, this is gonna end badly for you. Ow, how did that hit me? I guess the blast from the bomb 
still uh, took effect on me. Can these two, can a Pokey interact with a Bobomb? It can. That's interesting when enemies actually, oh, 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 quicksand. It's interesting when enemies, like, interact with each other. Maybe even un unintentionally. Anyway, let's get rid of this Pokey, just like that, and then grab his coin. Okay. There's also some Goombas in here we can get. And there's this throwable box here, which can be a bit annoying to get its coins from. Because if you throw it too close to a wall, on one of these pillars here, the coins will just go through the ceiling on top of the roof, and then you probably will have a lot of more trouble getting them. So you probably want to throw it from further back, and then have the coins just explode on the ground a bit more. Like that. Just need to be careful of quicksand and everything else. Okay, let's grab those. That that one coin, I guess, is a multiple. There's also a red coin there we collected last time. Okay. We have most of the coins on the outside already. Oh, grab that. No! I didn't jump. I was trying to jump and grab the blue coin in midair, but it did not work. Anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> because I'm going to have to try many times, probably. This level is not fun if you're trying to get 100 coins. Not really. Well... I guess it's alright, but it's just so easy to die instantly, is the problem. Okay, let's grab that. Okay. Let's go get everything we've already collected already. <laughs> because that's just how it is when you do 100 coins. It would be nice if it saved how many coins you collected, but then it would have to like not give you the same coins that you've already collected from the level, and that seems like a lot of work for programming. Like a lot of work. Doesn't sound like a lot of work, but it, it definitely is a lot of work to change that amount of information. Okay, um, I'm gonna ground pound you so I don't have to be flung into the air. And let's grab this bob arm here and slide apparently. Oh wow! That's interesting, because I was in the slide and jumped. It dropped the, the bob arm. That's very interesting. Oh my goodness. Diving made a lot of quick damage. Okay, there we go. Grab that. Okay. Everything's fine now. Every everything's so fine. Okay. Just gonna get rid of these Goombas again. Oh, come on, Goomba. Don't go off the edge, Goomba. You know that's a bad thing for you. Okay. Let's try and get this again. This camera is very weird with this angle. That's okay, let's grab these coins quickly. Okay, got them. Good, okay. Now let's actually try to get this. Ah! I believe I can also... Where am I going? That's another way to go onto the roof. I believe if I actually, like, did a spin into this pokey, I'd actually do damage to it. Taking out its things. It does regrow itself, though. Whenever it's... Whenever you take out its layers, but still. Okay. Now we have most of the coins on the outside of the world. Or the outside of the pyramid. So let's go find some more. Just gonna wait for this, probably. Okay. Long jump! Okay, careful, 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 careful. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. We're doing really well now. We just have a little bit more to go. Now, where do I need to stand for this? Over there. Right there. Just careful because the edges are still flat, so you need to be in the middle of the block. So you don't get crushed by it. Okay, let's grab this red coin here. And he's going to take my hat again, probably, because when you're in the water, you move very slowly. Okay, no, he didn't get it, but I'm. Just, he's still going to die for it. He's gonna, still going to try. Okay, let's get rid of this pokey here. There's quite a few of those pokies on the outside. Wow, that worked. Sliding into him. Oh, just run. That thing's gonna come back. <laughs> the vulture taking my hat is a fear now, basically. Okay. Let's grab this and try not to go crazy everywhere. And grab the coins, grab the coins, grab the coins, grab the coins. Okay, good. We must have half of what we need, so that's pretty good. We don't even have the red coins yet. Not all of them, at least. 
There's about eight in red coins left since we get two per coin. Okay. We have most of the outside coins though, so I might actually be alright to just go in to the, 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 to go into the thing. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have much choice. There's also some on the pyramid on the outside, so you have to be careful about that as well. Um, I'm just going to play it safe and I'm just going to go into the pyramid and hope that I don't need eight more coins. Or possibly, let me think. I think there's five on the outside plus the, the, the fly guy that's like, so maybe like 20 coins. I hope I don't be, I hope I'm not down by 20 coins. And also, now that we're in the pyramid, we can't go back out again, so we're gonna have to be, we're gonna have to hope for very much. There's a blue coin switch here, which if we don't get them all, we're probably gonna have a lot more trouble getting 100 coins. Oh, quick, 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 quick. They're just out here. There's a little platform here that you can use to get in and out. So there we go. Now to get all the rest of the coins that I just left everywhere. There's a lot of enemies around. I don't know if there's any down that way. Also, you need to understand why that sound, the, the sign said to stand tall on four pillars. Since we stood tall on four pillars for one of the stars to get inside the pyramid from the top. Oh, grab that. And grab that. It nearly fell into the sand, which is why I was panicking just two seconds ago. Um... Okay. This is fine. And there's quite a lot as we get higher up as well. Oh, careful. Very careful. I'm always careful. I'm never just running full speed into things. Let's get these coins. And if that thing shocks me, I'm going to let go of the thing, I'm pretty sure. I need to be careful not to get zapped by that. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, good. I don't know how that didn't touch me just now. Anyway. 15 coins to go. Let's just hop off that and then that. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but you can also just backflip onto this thing from the lower level and then use that as a way to get up. Instead of going all the way around. That's how I always did it growing up. I don't remember ever doing it any other way, so... Must have been one of the things I just learned straight away, somehow. Probably from my dad playing Super Mario 64. Okay, 90. Doing very well now. Just gonna get across there. Oh, very nice. Efficient. So efficient. Oh my goodness. Grabbing two coins on each step. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get, cr I'm gonna get cr crushed. Okay, well that wasn't that bad. If I had less health, then that would have been bad. Oh, and there's also a heart right here. So that guy is basically pointless if you have health to get past him. Okay, we only need two more coins, which is ab absolutely brilliant right now. Since there's two coins right here. So let's grab this 100 coin star. If I can hit it. There we go. Oh, and landed on the ledge. Amazing. That's actually very useful. Since we need to actually stay up here. And we still need to head up to the very top. Because we still have the pyramid puzzle to do. The pyramid puzzle isn't much of a puzzle. It's more of a just go do things. Basically. Um... And speaking of getting on top of these blocks, you can get on top of this one, you can get past him fairly well. I'm just going to go underneath him again. Okay. And now, over here, what we want to do is we want to jump down this little ledge here, and there's a coin for us to grab here, which gave us a number. So we need to get four more, and this is actually very difficult to do. Because there are little blocks that are just floating. No! There are little blocks just floating underneath in the air, just next to the sand pole, I guess. And we need to get land on all three and then get those last two that were in the sand thing. The sand 
what's it called? Flow. I don't know what it's called. Why am I trying to give it a name? I don't know. But yeah, we've got four out of five secrets now. Because it's the same thing that they use for secret things. I'm pretty sure we've come across those kinds of stars before where we stand in five different locations and it gives you a number and if you get all five you get a star. So it's just the same thing here. I can't remember where we saw that though. Where did where, where, where we see that? Can I get on top of you please? Nope, okay. Well I got on top of him but then he moved and then got knocked off. I can also jump from here and hopefully not land in the quicksand and die. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, just move, please. Oh my goodness, this is not good. I'm trying to avoid the quicker sand than the quicksand. Well, at least now that we have 100 coins star, we don't need to worry about that. We can just go back inside the pyramid. And we don't even need to go back inside the pyramid because we're already inside the pyramid. We just need to re-enter the level and it'll put us back in here. Okay, there we go. Get off that quickly. Okay. Oh my goodness, it'll be nice to not have to climb all the way back up every single time. Okay. Just gonna wait now. Okay. Very nice. Don't even need to stay in, the, in it if I'm going at full speed past it. Just restores health as long as it's still moving and spinning. Okay, go, 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 go. I don't like the secret or the pyramid puzzle because you have to really nail those jumps. If you mess it up, you have to restart the whole thing, basically. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Oh, 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 camera, 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 camera. Oh, the camera is just adjusting itself all the time. And it is really trying to mess me up. Okay. Let's jump down here. Okay, good. Wait for the camera to settle and then jump again. Oh, you can also um, kick jump in the mid midair to try and... Oh, keep height a little bit so you can kind of stay in the air for a little bit longer and then get to where you need to be. I saw that one up under there. You're supposed to get on top of that other block down there to get that one up. I guess that's one way to teach you how to do that. Okay. I'm surprised it didn't get crushed just then but I'm pretty sure I'd have had one, one, one PowerPoint thing left. Because that's what the the thing on the top of the screen says. It says power. So it says power, I guess. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, don't hurt me. Okay. I wish this wasn't like this. Wish this was easier. Oh, careful, don't to get too, don't get too close. It will spin and knock me off. Okay. Okay, so what I could do instead, though, is if I go down here... Oh my goodness, please don't fall off. What I could do instead is try jumping from here, and then... There we go! And the star's at the end of the sand... Whatever it is, sand river. I'm gonna call it a sand river. It's a it's a river of sand, so why not? Okay, and I believe that is all the stars in this level. So let's just grab that and careful not to fall off the edge. There we go. Here we go. Very nice. And that's that complete. So next up is a level we've only had a small look at. So, we got the first star there once upon a time. But then we went to the Bowser level. Because it's it's right there. You have to do the first star in the level to get to the Bowser. 
we're going to go to back to Die Die Docks and start looking at that at that because that's actually a proper level, and I didn't actually know it was a proper level for many years as a kid. So, Star Two, chests in the current. Okay, so what we need to do is there are some chests down here. There's also a whirlpool in the middle that if you go in, it just kills you. So you want to stay away from that, but you need to do the chests, and I'm pretty sure this is the wrong first one, so let's go around this way. It's the same rules as the other chests. Get it in the wrong order, you get zapped. Get it in the right order, you get a bubble and also a number. Oh, 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 coins, 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 thank you. Oh, and I didn't know that Clam gave you a 1-up, but apparently it does. Okay. So that's the first one. So which means the one that we went to before and I said was not the first one, is the second one. You can kind of use the current in the middle, which is just extending out, like, all the way around here. To try and pull yourself into the chests if you're not close enough. You also have to be facing Mario's head into the chest, basically, to actually open it. Okay. Okay. Here comes the tricky one, though, because we have to get that chest that's right next to the whirlpool, and then get the star. This one's really tricky because if you if you don't turn like preemptively, just a little bit early, you'll get pulled right in, and there's no way out. You can actually get stuck. Like, you can be inside of the whirlpool as the star's spawning, and it's just super sad when that happens. So be very careful with that last, uh, chest, so. Anyway, back into the level. I like how you can just walk in. Pole jumping for red coins. Now, I'm gonna have to actually also get the 100 coins for this one as well, because I don't want to spend much longer than I need to be here. And the red coins in this level are a little bit out of the way, so... It's probably best to do it straight away. Where's the coins I'm thinking of here? Are they lower down? No, they can't be. Where are they? They're like one of these corners has some coins for us, but I don't know which... There, okay. I knew there was coins there, I just couldn't remember where. Anyway, let's head down now. Careful not to touch this stingray. Okay. Where are the coin piles, I guess? Oh, there's one. You have to actually swim away from the whirlpool and also go up at the same time to try and get all of these. Oh, it's pulling me in. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Pretty much great, actually. I don't think there are any more that are really close to the whirlpool anymore. But there are still some on the edge, I think. Oh, and there's also these rings here that we need to be very careful with. As so as not to get pulled into the whirlpool. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay, good. Okay, that's, that's all of the ones near the whirlpool that we need to worry about. Other than probably these, this, this ring here. After this point, it's just collecting coins. Except there's also something else that can kill you now. So that is very similar to the whirlpool. And it has coins near it, of course. So, let's just go up here again. To the second area. And... Now that we've got the first star from Bowser Submarine, the submarine is gone, for one thing. And this tunnel was opened up, which had the Bowser thing on it. The Bowser logo. Now, if you get too close to that tunnel, it will pull you in and kill you instantly. Oh! 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 oh swim! Swim, Mario! Swim! Oh, and there's coins here, of course, to collect. Oh, camera angle, you're not helping me right now. Oh my goodness, Mario, don't suddenly change angles. Oh, coins, 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 got him. Oh, swim away, 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 Mario, swim away. Thank you, oh my goodness. That was nearly bad. It was bad, but it was nearly even worse than bad. 
Because if I die, I have to get all the coins again. Including the ones near the whirlpool. Which can also kill me, so this is just a fun 100 coins to collect in this level. It's like, um, Jolly Roger Bay, Jolly Rogers Bay again, where there's only a certain amount of coins, so you really need pretty much all of them. Anyway, there's also another shell here that we can grab, but we don't really need it, so let's just explode it into this shell. Are they? I don't think these clams have any coins for me. I'm gonna head to the surface so I can get some air and actually keep collecting coins. Oh. Okay. So, out of the water somewhere should be some coins for us. Also, what does the sign say? Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. I don't remember ever going through a coin ring and having a secret point number, a red number appearing. It tr if you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Well, I don't think it meant to say coin ring. I'm pretty sure it just meant to say ring. And we'll be getting to that, whatever the word that means, soon. <laughs> soon. Anyway, now that we've flipped the switch, we actually want to go over here to this uh, block. These blocks over here. You can also destroy these blocks, but they do will respawn if you press the switch. But now we can get up here, and there are some red coins for us to collect. So, we can jump onto these moving poles. Moving up and down to collect the coins that we need. And if we just get them all, we'll have the eight red coin star. But also, over there is a blue coin switch, which is the more important thing for 100 coins, I guess. But I'm probably going to get that after a little bit more coins, so I'm going to try and get, go to that area last. Because if you get the 100 coin uh, star to appear on the poles, it, once you collect it, you'll drop you into the water, which is not the the best thing to do. You probably want to, if you're trying to get red coins at the same time, you probably want to stay up here. And now also we have to jump from pole to pole as they're moving somewhat. So let's jump onto this one. They kind of stop at that point for a little bit. But these two don't stop at the same point. So, well they do, but there's also these walls in the way so we need to jump at the right time to get across. Like that. There we go. Okay. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm gonna have to wait, yeah. Which is a shame, but that's okay. Wait for these to line up properly so I'm not. Oh, I might actually have to go at an angle. Okay. We went in an angle, but it's alright. Now let's jump back to here. And we're pretty much good. You can also see the previous star from Bowser Sub just still in the air. I think if you reselect the first star again, it will be back, but after that point, it's not there. And I'm pretty sure you actually have to get the star for it to disappear. You can't just do a different star and then select that star for it to disappear. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Well, that's not good. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, just go slow. Okay, good. And the camera changing is not great. Okay. Let's try to get those blue coins now. Let me think, how many are they gonna give me if I get all of them? I'm trying to think because I know how many they're gonna there are gonna be. So if I times that number by five, I will actually have over a hundred coins. Cool. Good to know. Also, this is not the best camera angle to be jumping from pole to pole. Oh my goodness. Okay, go. It doesn't give you much time to jump off. Anyway, if I'm correct, there should, should be six blue coins here. And there we go, 100 coins. Mario can't grab onto poles and stars at the same time, so he'll just drop into the water if you're on a pole. Anyway, let's go get this last red coin and then go back across to get the red coin star. I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I'm going to try and grab this and then hop back onto the pole as quickly as possible without it leaving me behind. Go! Okay, good. You could also just drop down and go across normally. 
but that seems like boring. That seems like boring. Okay, let's just do that. I'm surprised I managed to grab both of those paws before they left me behind. Anyway, let's grab the star. Very nice. My live, my lives counter is going up quite a lot. I don't want to. I really don't want to exit the game before. I want to see how many lives I can get before beating the game. So it means I have to not turn off the game, which is all right, I guess. But anyway, star number four through the jet stream. This one is a little bit out of the way, but we've actually done part of it already in a previous star by accident, so all we need to do is go back to the other side of the level, and then there's something for us to do. Okay, so you can see that there's this stream of, there's this current pushing us up from here. There's also these rings that are appearing, and if we go through, them, it gives us numbers. So if we go through five of them in a row, you can't just get five of them and then, or get four of them and then miss one and then go back. You have to actually do them all five in a row. It makes a star appear, but it's in the middle of the current. So we actually need to get that by going up here and using this metal cap here. There we go. Now we just need to walk into the star, and there we go. Here we go. I think we only have two more stars left in this level to do, so let me just go do them, because it shouldn't take very long to do them. Shouldn't is the key word. But, you know, I am I am me, and I'm very good at messing things up. Star number five, the Manta Rays Reward. So those rings that we just went through, May look slightly familiar because there's also rings being made behind this stingray here. So, we need to go through five in a row again. Which can be a little bit difficult, especially with the whirlpool in the middle. But, now that we have it, we need to just get the star, which is over the top of the whirlpool. Of course. Be very careful, be very careful, got it. Good. Cool. And there's that one. That's That one doesn't very, take very long, it's just easy to miss those rings sometimes. The the collision on those rings has been a problem in many playthroughs I've had of this game. And the last star is the one that we've already seen. Collecting the caps, dot dot dot. So, we already saw one in the other area. Just underwater. But it's inside of a cage, which I'm gonna go see once I actually get over there. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to time my A presses to get through this water faster because if you tap it at the right time, you get a faster swim speed. So anyway, over here, there's a star, but it's in the side of a cage, so we can't get through that. So, what we need to do is go up here because there's a vanish cap which will allow us to go through the bars. But I'm pretty sure it's going to run out before we get to the star, so what we're going to do instead is grab that, and then we're going to grab the metal cap at the same time, and now we're using two caps at the same time. So now, we're going to f float down to the bottom of this area here, and now we can move fairly quickly with the vanish cap all the way across. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that, but I'm pretty sure you are. So let's grab that, and there we go. That's Die Die Docks complete. And that's all of downstairs done as well, so... All that's left for us to do is upstairs. And that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.